Good afternoon, madam. What is your full name? My full name is Pakki Miran Sharaf. What is the meaning of your name? The meaning of my name is actually leader, but it have another meaning which means rich. Where are you from? I am from Bhiwandi. It is a small town situated in the Thane district, which is quite near to Mumbai. Do you like your hometown? Uh, yes, definitely. I like my hometown. Do you work or are you a student? I'm a student and I'm currently studying BCom. What are your future plans? My future plans are actually quite uh, different, but uh, as of now, I'm really planning to do MBA. Okay, let's talk about your childhood. Did you enjoy yeah. your childhood? Yes, I definitely enjoyed childhood. I was pampered a little. Okay. What is your first memory of your childhood? Ah, uh, the first memory of my childhood, I would say, I remember doing a lot of things as a kid, but I remember I used to play with a lot of toys when I was a kid, especially with the toys that include some brick building and building some small houses using some cubes, all those kind of toys. Did you have a lot of friends when you were a child? Um, no, I was not really a very social guy when I was a kid, but I had a couple of friends and they're still my friends today. Okay, what did you enjoy doing as a child? I used to play a lot of video games, especially Super Mario. That was my favorite one. Okay, do you think it's better for children to grow up in city or countryside and why? Um, I would say it depends. Countrysides have some of their advantages while city have some of their advantages. Like in city, you might get proper food, quality of life, education and better facilities. While if you live in countryside, then you would be more exposed to nature. So it depends. But I have grew in city, so maybe to me, city life is more preferential. Okay, let's talk about happiness. Are you a happy person? Um, most of the times, yeah, I'm a happy person. What usually make you happy? Um, usually, I like to listen to music and play video games. And sometimes, I also like to go to park. That really makes me happy and relax. And what makes you feel unhappy? Um, when my parents scolds me and sometimes when I don't do a lot better in my academics, then I really get disappointed. Okay, do you think people in your country are generally happy people? Um, it really depends. Actually, economy is a, a really important factor. If someone is having a really nice financial life, then most of them are happy. But if some people are not really earning a lot of money, then they sometimes feels like uh, they are burdened or it's just that uh, money is one of the most important equalizer in one's life. So in my country, if you are having quite a decent amount of money, you would be happy. And if you're not going to be making a lot of money, then you won't be as happy as others. But still, I mean, <laughs> finding happiness is the most important goal of life. Okay. Okay, let's talk about neighbors and neighborhood. Do you like yeah. your neighbors? Ah, uh, yes, I definitely like my neighbors. They are very nice people. Are neighbors usually close to each other in your country? Yes, in my country, neighbors are definitely a lot more closer as compared to the other countries. I live in India and a neighborhood is just like your second family in India. So yes, definitely neighbors are a lot closer to us. What is your neighborhood like? Uh, my neighborhood is just like any other neighborhood in India, but uh, it's like uh, people are really, really humble and they like to help you if you are in trouble. And you can almost go there at any, any at anyone's home and you can ask for help and you can just describe your problem and they will definitely just act as if they are homies. Do you think your neighborhood is a good place for children? Ah, yes, I grew up in the same neighborhood as I live in today. So I would say, yes, it is a very decent neighborhood and anyone can grow up and have a decent life here. No trouble for me. Do you think it is important to have a good relationship with your neighbors? 
Yes, it is very important to have good relationship with our neighbors because our neighbors are just like our second family. And if you would help your neighbors, then they'll help you in some time future. And of course, neighbors are very important because nobody can live alone. Everybody lives in a town, in a city filled with a lot of other people. So neighbors are really important. And if they're important, you have to treat them better. I will give you your two minute topic. Your topic is sure. talk an important journey that was delayed for some reason please say describe the journey why was it delayed how did you feel about it you will have one minute to prepare on this topic and you will have to speak for one to two minutes yeah may i start yes you can recently we were about to plan a trip to a nearby location it is called mahableshwar it is a very beautiful hill station and in order to get there you would have to travel via a car in order to climb the hill there's only one way to go there and if by any chance the weather conditions are not good enough then you won't be able to go there so we were planning to get there by a car and we were just about to go the next day and all of a sudden we heard a news that uh, the weather conditions are not going to be good enough. There is going to be some really, really heavy rainfall over that and uh, it will be completely foggy. And it is extremely risky if you would drive a car in a foggy place, especially if you're climbing a hill because the slightest mistake could land you in a big trouble. And even by accident, if you fall from that height, then there's no way for you to survive. And that's why my father is actually the one who drives the car and he just broke the news to us. And we were really disappointed to hear that because I was especially very excited because I thought that we were going to see some really breathtaking moments, some uh, breathtaking sceneries, some really nice uh, locations. And especially it is a very exotic place. If you would go there, then you would love the place. And that's why as a child, I was only eight years old at that time. And I didn't want it, the trip to get canceled. So I was literally bragging to my father about the trip that I want to go there. We have to get there no matter what happens. But it's just that it was almost physically impossible to get there. And that's why my father tried to explain me that there's no way, son, that we can go there. But uh, <laughs> I was just not ready to accept it. Anyways, we were not able to go there because of the weather conditions. And it was extremely cloudy. It was extremely foggy. And uh, people have also heard some thunder clouds and some other lightning bolts. And we, so I was really disappointed and I wanted to go there, but my father said we cannot go there. And we recently heard that there was another guy who tried to get there and it was really, really a bad weather for drive there. He actually got himself killed because of this act and he just couldn't save himself because he was driving in a very foggy weather and he couldn't see clearly. And all of a sudden he, his car got slipped and his car fell all the way from the cliff to the bottom of the ground and it was quite a disappointing news but at that time I learned my lesson that maybe my father was actually very right that we didn't go there it was really a nice decision probably a life-saving decision maybe we can cancel one trip uh, but if we save our life then we can carry on multiple trips if we are alive in the future so that was my experience with the bad weather. And I guess it was quite terrible. But at the same time, I guess we're just happy that we are all safe and sound right now. Okay, now I will ask you a few questions related to this topic. Let's talk about travel. Do you like to travel? Definitely. I love to travel. In fact, uh, I think that I should probably complete a tour of pretty much every country in the world. I want to visit almost all the countries in the world. Okay. What mode of transport do you use? I use both actually, public transport as well as uh, private transport. I have a small scooter of my own that I usually drive. Uh, and I also use public transport such as buses or trains if I want to go to school or colleges or pretty much anywhere else I want to go. What is the difference between modern transport and old transport? 
Well, in ancient times, people used to travel on like bullock carts or horses, and it used to take quite a lot of toll on the animals. And also at the same time, it was quite uh, exaggerating for even human beings to travel on such animals. And also you cannot travel like hundreds and hundreds of miles on those animals. But recently, with this advancement of technology, we have so many different vehicles and buses, trains, aeroplanes, and we can travel like hundreds and thousands of kilometers in hours and hours and without even taking a big toll on our bodies. So I guess, yes, technology has enabled us this technology and we can travel in a lot various and lot better ways than as compared to the previous times. So there's a okay. big difference. Between two. Okay, what impact does it have on people and the environment? Uh, yes, if you're talking about the ancient times, then I guess it was a lot eco-friendly. But now if we are going to take a look at the vehicles and all the carbon dioxide, the mono dioxide that is being released from all these vehicles are extremely harmful to the environment. And they're actually depleting a hole in the ozone layer from where some harmful rays from the sun are coming directly towards our planet. And it is also causing global warming because of that. So I guess we should control these kinds of things and we should help to preserve our environment. Do you prefer using your own car or public transport and why? Mm, I would prefer using my own car because of convenience, but at the same time, if you use public transport, then definitely we are helping the environment, saving money. Uh, but still, I would say that uh, if I want to go somewhere, uh, let's say nearby, I would use my car. But if I want to go somewhere far from my home, let's say if I want to travel to a different state, I would use a public transport such as train. What is the importance of travel? Traveling is extremely important. We cannot get anywhere if we won't travel. It doesn't matter. It could be a small journey. It could be a long journey. Like I travel to my college every day. It is a small level of travel. And if you want to go somewhere else, maybe for a business meeting or for uh, any other things such as a, a tour or something like that. And we have to travel a lot, especially sometimes we have to travel to different parts of the world if you want to go somewhere else. So yes, traveling is important. Without traveling, you cannot get anywhere. All right, this is the end of your speaking. Thank you. Thank you.